Hi bestie, peace and blessings, wishing you nothing but grace upon this beautiful day. I hope you're doing well and having a great week so far. My name is Aaliyah and I am the host of this podcast, Becoming Me, where I encourage you to become the best version of yourself. I think we often hear the terms becoming that girl, becoming somebody else, or just taking and embodying someone without taking into consideration your own character characteristics. I want to encourage you to become the best version of yourself. So that's what we're here to do and that's what we're here to do together. I want to talk, I just want to chit chat. So I want to just talk about what's coming up. Summer is around the corner. Even though it snowed yesterday and there was an earthquake this morning, it's fine. But make the best use of the time we have. But in this week's video, I want to talk about how to reinvent yourself and give yourself the ultimate glow up. I think, you know, always at the end of the year, people are like, I'm going to glow up. It's a new year, new me. Okay, babes, go ahead. But I want to take it, I think when we break things down smaller and just look at it month by month, you're gonna see it's a lot easier to manage and look at your future goals than putting everything into one big, one big pool, one big plate of, I have to get everything done now. So we're just gonna break everything down, super simple and just go through it. Cause I want you to walk into the next three months, next six months, the next few months of the year, feeling good. Especially as we get into the summer months, everyone's like, oh my gosh, I need a summer glow up. I need to do this, that. I need to lose weight. No, babes. I want you to feel confident and comfortable in your own skin. So from physical, mindset, internally, we're going to talk about it all. The lifestyle tips that you need to get started. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I feel like, and if you're watching on YouTube, and let me know down below what is something that you want to achieve in the next six months like what's something that you want to upgrade in your life whether it's your wardrobe your mindset your physical like let me know down below let me know in if you're on spotify take the poll below but if you're on youtube let me know down below what you're thinking but first things first i want you to change your perspective and think about the things that you your dream self would want to do when they wake up i'm not saying be delulu but the bigger the goal. So be a Lulu, but I want you to step into that identity of who is my ideal version of myself? What does the Lulu Lily look like? What does the Lulu Lily do on a daily, da daily basis? So like ask yourself, like, what does she do? Who is she? Where does she live? And one of the things that I love to use for this is the morning formula. And if you want the full breakdown, if you're on YouTube, you can see this out on the screen. This was from a creator I found. If I find her name, I will insert it as well in the description box. But basically, every morning, I want you to think like in a few sentences, like and summarize who your future self is as if it's already happened. And identify like what your big goal is as it already happened and like when you talk about your identity like i want you to visualize this so i mean if you haven't done it already i know we're in april but we can sit down i want you to go on canva you can click the link in the description box or just scan the qr code go to canva and i want you to make yourself a vision board so if you got a positive video take some time this weekend literally sit down for an hour go on pinterest look up your dream self I don't care how big the dreams are. I want you to go and look it up. Save those pictures. You can make a cute little collage on Canva. This, sorry, you know when people text you and you're like, huh, what's going on? Are y'all gonna get a quick glimpse at mine? This is my, this is my vision board. It has everything on it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna cover that top part, but just a little glimpse of what it looks like. Literally has everything that I desire, my goals, like where I wanna be this year in 2024. But with that being said, put it somewhere. When you make this vision board and your identity of who you want to be, put this vision board wherever you are going to look at it every day. So for me, it's on my laptop home screen and long screen, my iPad wallpaper, my phone wallpaper. It is literally everywhere. And I literally have a printed version on my wall because you look at these things and you're like, that's a daily reminder of where I'm going to be by the grace of God because I know it's already done. But you cannot be like, I'm going to get there and not put any work into your actions to get there like you have to step into that identity and step into who you want to be so again identify when you go on pinterest whether it's you want to be like whatever it is if you want to be on the beach if you want to travel like put those things be so 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 specific about the things that you want and where you want to be you don't want one thing and then you're like i didn't ask for that but you did. You just weren't specific about the things that you wanted. So I want you to get detailed and specific on the things that you want and create the vision and make it plain. Do not worry about how to get there. Pray and know that's already done. Okay. But you have to do the work to get there as well. You can't just be like, mm, okay, snap, it's there. No, no, no. 
put in the work, create the vision, look at this vision every single day. And I promise you, I promise you, we will get there together. So again, this is part of my morning formula. I do this morning and night. I read this and I look at this every single day. But again, when we talk about like the physical, this is just part of what we're gonna do. Again, the morning formula is, we'll dive deeper into this, but to start, I want you to create the vision that you want for yourself. So pinky promise that you're gonna do it. But the next thing, if you don't drink enough water, what are you doing? If you don't like water, put some strawberries, some lemon, something, some apple juice. I've been seeing that everywhere on TikTok, I don't know why. At least 32 ounces of water a day, like preferably. Like if you don't, if you really can't, like honestly try to drink a gallon. Just your body needs water for your skin. And if you're like, my skin's not where, like I promise you drink more water, try and move, remove, the sugars, sweets, replace it with more water and learn to balance things out and not have, not, I'm not saying to restrict yourself, be moderation, but if you're someone who has a hard time breaking from sweets, like I do, Toll House cookies. I have a real problem with Toll House cookies. It's, you know, but if you are someone who struggles with drinking a lot of water, try to put different flavors or try different flavors of water or try putting like fruits in your water making it cute get a cute little water bottle like this one if you're on youtube you can see but go to starbucks get a stanley cup get a cute little water bottle go to marshall's simple modern you can put some in the description box for you as well in terms of cute little water bottles so like you are more inclined to drink it and throw some ice into that bad boy i promise you putting ice in that cup just it's so different it's just so good another thing take those vitamins if you are tired like me all the time you probably lack iron so you can go to your local grocery store target walmart cbs walgreens get you some vitamins vitamin d if you do not get outside in the sun iron if you are someone like me who's always tired or just feels like they're gonna pass out when they stand up iron or get a multivitamin honestly multivitamins are great they have all the vitamins if you are deficient in something and you're not sure what vitamins you need go to the doctor and ask if they can give you a blood test i'm not a doctor but from someone who does have these problems i would recommend going to doc going to your doctor primary care your physician and just seeing if they can give you some guidance on the things that you may be lacking in terms of nutrients but definitely getting some vitamins another brand that i really do love and it's not sponsored at all is mary roots if you struggle sleeping or mary roots has some great brands and i'll put a link to their vitamins down below if you are not someone who likes to exercise or maybe you want to get into exercise but you don't know where to start you're nervous or you're trying to get back into the gym. See if your gym has like workout classes. One thing that I love to use is ClassPass. ClassPass is an app that has a bunch of workout classes, not just workout classes, but if you're someone who wants to just take better care of yourself, like you can get a massage, a facial, your nails done, your hair done, a blowout, a haircut, take fitness classes all in one app. I love to take Pilates and boxing on ClassPass and you can try classes out for free for 30 days in the description. You can literally get and take work classes. If you like F45, 40 functional fitness class, Pilates, yoga, HIIT classes, I promise you it's all on there. It's such an amazing app. If you've never heard of it, literally, please check it out. It's literally free. You can try it out for 30 days, literally cancel whenever you want. But if you want to try something new, as we're getting into summer, try to different classes, meet new people, definitely taking a workout class, taking a little stuff out of your comfort zone will definitely do it. I love it. I take Pilates. I'm a Pilates girly, Pilates princess. I stand 10 toes down on it. So I want you to just try it out. Let me know what you think. If you do try it out, let me know what classes you take. I would love to know and let me know how you like it. Another one, if you are someone who trying to gain weight, I struggled to gain weight for a very long time and I was like stuck at a hundred and like three pounds for a good year because i was not prioritizing protein intake i didn't understand fitness i didn't understand like what that all meant but basically if you're someone who this is like if you guys want me to go more in depth about this i definitely can too but if you're someone who is trying to gain weight and you want to eat if you are someone who wants to gain weight or maintain weight think of take your body weight so for example if you're 200 pounds you want to eat 200 grams of protein to maintain your weight and maintain the muscle in your body if you're working out you know three to four times a week but I can go more in depth than that in another video, but I really just want to say if you're someone who struggles to, if you struggle to reach your protein intake, smoothies, a protein powder, yogurts, nuts, finding different ways to get those nutrients, but make sure like at least you're eating a handful of greens in the morning, putting some greens in your smoothie, like thinking of different ways to diversify your diet. Another one that I love that has really made me feel a lot better is having my 
physical non-negotiables. And what I mean by that, I mean, whether it's one thing, I want you to pick one thing that you're always going to have done that makes you just feel better. Like for me, my nails need to be done. I feel like a brand new person when my nails are done. And these are press on nails are the way to go. And if you don't want to spend $45 every two weeks to get your nails done, I understand because I was that girly. I would go... Well, waxings, like waxing in my nails, those are my non-negotiables that has to be done. Yes, just me. But like, I want you to find out what are your non-negotiables, whether it's getting your hair done once a month, getting your nails done, doing your lashes, doing a workout class. Like, what is one thing that you want as your physical non-negotiable? If you want these nails, I literally do my personal nails myself. These literally, I kid you not, these last me three weeks. No lifting, no nothing. I get the BT Art Box nails with the nail bond glue. Babes, I promise you I will never steer you wrong. This nail glue is so good and I swear by it. If you want something that's quicker than Amazon, you can go to Ulta. I love me some Glamnetic nails. They last, literally, they last so long. And there's glue, remo glue remover you can get too. If you get anything, class pass, press on nails. I won't steer you wrong. It's in the description box. Don't worry about it. Another thing, when we step into like our physical, like it goes more than just beyond like just how you feel on the outside. But in terms of like, it goes more than just how you feel. But I promise you, having a signature scent and getting that compliment. Oh my gosh, what are you swearing? You smell so good. Oh my God, like thank you. Like you're so sweet. But find your signature scent. Like for me, I have a scent for every season. As we're getting into the warmer months, if you want my full detailed review of perfumes for the seasons, I promise you. People look, I get so many comments wearing that, but I'm a perfume girly. If you want my recommendations, don't worry, babes. I got you. Those are both men and women. I got you. If you want a good, unique smelling cologne perfume, I will never steer you wrong. But having a signature scent, absolutely. Find what scent you like, whether it's woodsy, citrus, warm, gourmand, vanilla. Find what works for you. Go to Nordstrom Rack, go to Nordstrom, go to Marshalls. Find a scent that you, is that that just screams you. That's your signature of people like, oh my gosh, like I know like so-and-so is here because I smelled them walk in. Like, promise you, find that scent, find what works for you, find what you love. Next thing, it I think is so, so, so important, especially as you like get out of college, trying to find yourself, find your identity, find your wardrobe, find out who you are, is having and building a capsule wardrobe. And don't be going out not knowing, not having the simple basics. Find the basics. I promise you, go to Unique. You can go to Uniqlo, Marshalls, Amazon has some amazing basics. Oh my goodness. A lot of my clothes are from Amazon. This... It's from Zara and I'm wearing a jumpsuit underneath that is from Amazon, but you need the basics. You can build so much off the basics, like two, three pairs of jeans, dark wash, light wash, medium wash, black, white, long sleeve, short sleeve, a good pair of white, ten like white tennis sneakers, a leather cardigan, a rain jacket, a trench coat, honestly, just to get you started. Like those are some things to give you some ideas, but I think you skirts in there, like I promise you, like building a capsule wardrobe is so important so 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 important next with capsule wardrobe you need to have a go-to just like you know when you go out you just want to feel a little pretty feel a little extra you know you just put a little makeup you need to have a little staple two or three products a makeup routine that you can do no questions asked in the dark in your sleep have something that you can go to that you feel comfortable and confident in without question if you want a tutorial, I just filmed one that you can go watch on my YouTube channel. Just like a very simple, very clean girl makeup. If you're watching me on YouTube, this is me with that makeup on right now. Very, very simple. Nothing too crazy. Very, very light. Something that doesn't feel heavy on your skin. But again, as we get into the warmer months, just have that quick go-to routine. Whether it's just put one, two, concealer, blush, setting powder, and go. Just be able to know how to do those little things where it's like, okay, like I just feel like a little extra cute today, you know? A little mascara. Just having those little go-to where you can feel just confident in your own skin, but giving yourself a little extra sparkle, a little extra sprinkle, you know? And another thing that I feel like not enough people talk about is having some good pajamas. Like you don't understand the feeling of like going to bed freshly waxed legs and just getting into bed with a nice 
fresh set of matching pajamas, whether they're like jersey pajamas, night, a moo, whatever it is, a nice pair of just matching top and bottoms. It just, it's so different. And like a nice robe, like I promise you, one, getting ready with a silk robe. If you're going out with the girls, going out to brunch, going to church, whatever it is, but just getting ready with a silk robe. Feels so girly in it, but, and maybe you're not girly, maybe you're a guy. Maybe you want that too. Get yourself a nice pair of like Ralph Polo pajama pants and a nice new them tank tops them white beaters that's fire and you feel nice and clean comfy cozy i love it like just treat yourself with some nice new pajamas like i promise you some matching pjs and don't worry i already got you like if you the girlies i got you if you want some recommendations check the link down below but i promise you just find some nice pajama sets or even if you live near a primark I have the best pajamas where most of my matching sets of pajamas are from Primark. So that's definitely a place that I would recommend going if you are looking for some new PJs. And then lastly, in terms of physical aspects of upgrading your life, reinventing yourself, having a hygiene routine. Have a hygiene, like, I just want you to have one night a week, that face mask, put your hair up, like, that everything type of shower where it's just like, yo, today's my day. Like Sunday is my day. Do my face mask. I do my eyebrows, literally everything. And I just sit down and lay in bed, nice relaxing book. I promise you it's the best feeling ever, but you need that routine where you have that once a week, just a you everything day, just relax, just everything where you can just sit and not think about anything else, but like just pampering yourself. So whether that's you have like a hygiene routine, like one, you need a hygiene routine, but you need a self-care day for yourself where you just take the time, pamper yourself for the day, a face mask, deep condition your hair, do a treatment, everything. I just want you to just truly find a day in the week that works best for you to sit down and just treat yourself to what you deserve because you deserve the world and more. You are beautiful and you are so loved. You deserve to love yourself just as much as I love you. And now let's take a little shift and talk about the mindset part of things like the outside, how we really look at ourselves. I think one thing that helps me so much is journaling. If you're someone who struggles with, with writing journals, what you can do is you can do like video journals, whether it's on a camera or on your computer, your phone. If you have a lot of feelings, rant that, rant that out, girl, because you're gonna feel like a release. I'll always recommend therapy to you because my therapist, that's homegirl. That is my homegirl. She has helped me so much, but I literally cannot recommend it more to anyone. Like literally journaling and just whether it's like two things a voice note like i love the app it's called journal you can do you can put in pictures videos you can write text you can do voice notes on there which i personally love just talking about my day what happened getting out my thoughts you just feel so much better then i like look back on it look back on the things that happened like in that point in time like a year ago and i'm like wow like you are not the same person who you were. Your past is not to find you. But remember, progress is what's going to get you to achieve your goals. It's not going to happen overnight. Remove that idea of instant gratification. It's something that I struggle with, but you have to remove it. It's not going to happen instantly, but I promise you over time when you work on these things, things that you know that you are not alone. That so many other people are experiencing the same things that you're probably thinking. And find ways that you can have an outlet for this. And I have been sitting here with these things in my lap the three things that i stand and swear by this every single day number one is my daily devotional this is from my pastor of my ministry that i go to it's the i am devotional it is 40 days of devotionals you can do it one devotional a week or you can do one devotional a day but basically talks about who you are what are you doing where am i going why am i here who, what, where, why, the questions we have about ourselves, but knowing your identity in Christ. I love this journal and it's so on time. It is so on time. Every single time I look at it, I reflect on it. I'm just like, wow, I love this so much. I love it. Pastor Colette, she's super, super sweet. Amazing. If you need a community of Christ-like, Christ-minded women, God-appearing women, then I cannot recommend this more to you. It's on Amazon. I think it's less than $15, but I would definitely recommend picking this up. This is something that I do every single morning. As soon as I wake up, I give gratitude and express thanks to God for bringing me to where I am today and allowing me to wake up to another day. So I cannot recommend that more. If you want the link to this, I will also link it down below. My next thing for you is a prayer journal. If you have faith and you are someone who prays and you don't have like a prayer board, I definitely recommend a prayer board as well. Have a quiet space 
where you can have a quiet time with God and just be in His presence. Have that space for yourself and create a vision board, create a prayer board. With the prayer board, it's just, it can be anything that you want. You can find like some ideas on TikTok or Pinterest, but on mine, I have like Bible verses in terms of things that pertain to my life and where I want to be. And then I have those prayers in regarding to that. So whether it's like marriage, relationships, friendships, love, who I am in Christ, what my identity is, what God says I am, God's promises. Like I have all those things on my vision board and I will write prayers for those specific topics. But in my prayer journal, whether you are watching a sermon or whether you are just writing out your morning devotional or daily, like I want you to write what your prayers are. And I promise you, Mark eleven twenty four. it says, it says, so I tell you to ask what you want in prayer. And if you believe that you write down your prayers and write down your dreams every single day and pray and thank God for the things that he has brought to you. Thank God for everything that he has done for you. And I promise you, like, I cannot express and emphasize one thing enough. But like, if you listen to anything that I say, like, I promise you, if you do anything in this video, anything at all, you'll remember one thing. Get the prayer journal. Pray over your life. Pray over the things that God has for you. Pray over the things that God has for you. And I promise you, like, just please, please, please pray and thank him every single day because he is so grateful and so faithful to us and another thing that i do these 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 three things every single morning this is my 300 things that i want from god you've seen steve harvey he talks about this and it's very very powerful i read this morning and night sit down i want you this when you have nothing to do sit down give yourself like three hours pray go be in thanksgiving be in gratitude thank god for everything and then sit there and you're gonna get stuck Right, 300 things that you want from God. And this is separate from your prayer journal. 300 things you want from God in this notebook alone. Every single morning and every single night, you're going to read them. And it just helps when you create, back to the first part we were talking about, creating that vision for yourself. Like, I promise you, I look at my vision board every single day. My vision board, I see it daily. So it's a reminder to me of where I'm going to be. The things that I pray over every single day. The 300 things are the things I'm like the specific get specific do not be general like i want to be happy yes by the grace of god but i want to say i want to move you want to move where when what city you're not going to go to the deli and be like can i have a sandwich what kind of sandwich do you want i can't read your mind god knows the desires of your hearts god knows your heart but be specific and see those things come to pass i promise you those are my three non-negotiables in terms of like my daily activities that i do Every single day when I wake up, thank God for waking me up in the morning, pray, devotional, prayer journal, three things. Sounds a lot, but if you want to achieve those things in your life, you got to write it down. Write the vision and make it plain. Get the vision board. What are the things that you want in your life? You need to see it to visualize it for yourself. I promise you. It's all about your mindset and how you see things. If you have an outlook on life where it's like, I'll never be successful. I'll never be saying those things like, quote unquote, I'll never be blank. When you say that, you're telling yourself, oh, I'm never going to get there. But God could be like, yo, what are you doing? I had that door open. Like that door is, I gave you the key, but you literally put it on the table when you looked, walked away from it. He's like, what are you doing? You're trying to go the other way. He's trying to pull you back, but you're not listening because you're like, I give up. You cannot give up on yourself. You need to change the minds that you have. And one of the books that I love if you want a book recommendation this is my next thing like let one of your goals for the month one book a month maybe one book a quarter one of the things that i love to organize myself is the 12 week year and i will break my goals my business goals physical mental everything that i want to accomplish up everything i want to accomplish i will break it into 12 weeks break it down my daily task what i want to accomplish what are my main focuses and because April is the start of a new quarter, I started that. So if you want to see how I broke that down, I can definitely do a video on that too. But I promise you, this book is by Brianna W. It's 101 essays that will change the way that you think. I love this book. It is pretty hefty, but they're all pretty quick. They're essays. It is such a good book. It opens your mind and just gives you a daily reminder to be grateful express gratitude for where you are because it just it's just such an and to be grateful for where you are it's just an eye-opening book and i love this book if you struggle with like kind of how you see yourself and just kind of really learning to love yourself for who you are and who you have become and where life has taken you thus far another one in terms of like outside of physical kind of mindset shift and building things for yourself is having a hobby girly you need to have a hobby whether it's looking up local meetups on tiktok in terms of like maybe it's like black girl charlotte 
black girls LA, Christian girls Miami, something like that where it's just like you're learning, not learning, but you're looking to find community. Having community is so important. You are a makeup of the people that you surround yourself with the most. So whether you want to be a business owner, you want to be a content creator, an influencer, whatever it might be, you can be that, but you need to find a community for yourself where you're surrounding yourself with the people who are like-minded like you, where you can learn from them and learn from each other. Another great one you can look up if you want to like learn a hobby, you want to start tennis, crocheting, golf. You're like in the Atlanta area, City Girls Golf, I believe, or in DC. They started a group and they have over 1,500 members. And one of the things like I told myself, it's like I'm picking up a hobby 2024. Find that group, go to different schools. Maybe like your high school has, maybe it's like a regional tech high school and they have salsa lessons. Find local salsa lessons in your major city. Maybe you're in Houston, Dallas, Texas, the UK, London, Spain. Find those things. Find a hobby where you don't need to, one, be on your phone, but two, just take a break from this world. Like, find something that just brings you joy. Like, I love going to little dancing classes. I love pottery. Like, there are so many things. Bingo. Don't get me started on bingo. I promise you. Try it out. Hear me out. Just try it out. Try it out. And the last two things... And another one is I want you to have a morning routine. Find a morning routine that's going to wake you up. I know everyone's seen the sleeping, I think the hatch alarm clock where it like wakes you up with like birds. If you have a Google Home, you can go to the Google Home settings. Go into morning routine, at routine. Specialize your night routine so you can have the same routine every single night so you're waking up. Getting enough sleep, one, is very important. Six to eight hours sleep, you need sleep. Your body needs sleep. But have the night routine, my night time routine. If you know me, you know I'm in bed by eight o'clock and I gotta be asleep by 10. Wake up five, six a.m. the next day with my Google Home. My, so I have this lamp right here. You can't see it, but it's purple. It's what's giving off this little effect in the background, but this is a smart light bulb. So at 11 or no, at 10 p.m. it'll turn red. And then for 30 minutes, I will set a timer on the app and it will go down to turn itself off as I'm winding down for bed, so I just fall asleep. And then at 10 o'clock, I also have music playing that just relaxes my mind, just helps me fall asleep a lot quicker. Then in the morning, my first alarm is at 5.30, like 5, 5.30, just kind of wake me up. I try to get up as soon as possible. I try to get up immediately when it goes off, but life happens, that's not always how it goes. But the alarm will go off at like 5, 5.30, but by like six, my alarm is birds chirping. It is the most therapeutic thing for me. I just, oh, I just feel like instead of those dogs barking a lot, like that dog barking or the banjo playing apple alarm, that's traumatic. I cannot listen to that anymore. But those birds chirping, it's just so beautiful and so peaceful. You just wake up like, oh, life is so beautiful. I promise you, try it out and let me know if you, let me know what you think. I promise you, I will never steer you wrong. Just hear me out. The birds chirping to wake up to, it's so, it's top tier, game changer. And then the last thing, I want you to take yourself on a solo date. Date yourself first. Don't put yourself in a relationship if you are not ready or if you don't know who you, if you do not know who you are, do not get yourself into that relationship. Date yourself, it's so beautiful. Take yourself out, buy yourself flowers. There's nothing wrong with it. It can be awkward at first. Go to dinner once a month. Have the day that you, the like literally what is the version of yourself? Like take her out, take him out to eat, to dinner. Treat yourself, you deserve it. You deserve nothing but love and enjoyment and happiness. Enjoy the little things, enjoy being your own presence. Bring a book with you, go to the bar, order a table, order some dinner, and then take yourself out for a little treat, whether it's ice cream, little cute pottery like take yourself out it's just so much fun buy yourself flowers like treat yourself how you would want to be treated by someone else if you don't ever take yourself out to dates like why would like set the standard for yourself of what you want to receive and see that be pulled into your life i promise you so with that that's the end of this video i am so happy you hung out with me today and we just got a little chit chat so let me know one thing that you're gonna do for yourself this month whether it's a solo date, having a self-care Sunday, buying a cute little water bottle, buying yourself flowers, getting a journal, let me know down below. And with that, I will see you next week. I love you so much and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye.